start. The best games in the NFL, the best plays in the NFL for week six. Look at this right here. Chris Bird, like I said, he's the best tight end in the league. This is an unbelievable athletic play, uh, the yak ability. First of all, he broke him off on the route. This was man coverage and hit him with the pop pop. Look at this, Brian Six. It's 75 yards, first play of the game. This dude is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Look at this, broke him off on the route, used the blockers, hit the safety with the ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And that's going to be six right there. I love this play right here, Sean Amory. Look at this throw. Buying time, finds the man downfield. Unbelievable catch too. Buying time, everybody was clamped up. Sees his receiver come open. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable throw and catch. Kendrick Whitewater. This is more play design than throw, but it's still a good throw. Just look at this right here. <laughs> That's a great play design right there from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jeremiah Hawkins, best linebacker in the league. Unbelievable athletic specimen. You send him on a blitz, he gonna get there. Sean Amory with another throw. Right on the money. Clutch. Clutch, clutch, clutch. When they needed points, he delivered. Had over 400 passing yards in that game. Bryce Vitry, unbelievable athlete that plays running back. Look at that spin move, bruh. Look at this spin move from Bryce Vitry on the angle route. <laughs> Let me get that. He should have gotten the end zone, but I mean, it is what it is. Sean Amory, a lot of big throws on this. Look at this throw from him. That's going to be six. Unbelievable arm. He thought that he couldn't run by him. He ran right by him, and that ball was right on the money. That's why he scored a touchdown. Look at this pick right here. He tried to sn sneak uh, the ball to Chris Bird on the screen. Christian Towns, great play. Sean Amory with another throw, another big throw. Look at that, man. <laughs> hey, that's arm strength right there. Normally, you say quarterbacks don't throw across your body to the other part of the field, but I mean, Sean Amory, when you got a cannon like that, you can do whatever. Christian Towns with another spin move, sack master, best edge rusher in the league, hands down. Sean Amory, another big play. <laughs> Evades the sack. <laughs> Buys time, finds the wide open man. Unbelievable leg strength from this dude. This, you can tell this dude don't skip leg day. Look at this. <clears throat> Get off me, man. Sean Amory, unbelievable talent. Bryce Vitry on the slip screen. Had a lot of room to roll. Kind of did run out of gas, but I mean, this is an impressive play. To get to the five-yard line. Look at this. Ravon Lewis from the Ravens. Look at this, bro. This dude is not that big. You see that catch? This dude is not that big. And he's just going to throw a contested ball. He just mossed him. Tyler Alexander, great at tracking the ball. I love this dude because he can track the ball like nobody else. This is cover two. And he just going to jump right in front of this. The, oh, it's a linebacker. But let's recap all of the NFL games this past week. There were some great games and there were some terrible games. I'm being honest with you. Denver, Arizona. Denver, uh good win for them arizona still winless still a terrible team denver wins 24 17. los angeles and philadelphia man the rams are looking real good right now uh the eagles uh they not really a good team uh they this was really a close game because sean amory while he did throw for over 400 yards and four touchdowns he threw four interceptions in this game which kept the eagles in this game but i mean he still made some unbelievable throws throughout the game New Orleans and Tampa Bay, uh, two very mediocre teams. New Orleans wins 27-20. San Francisco, Kansas City, uh, two very good teams. Uh, battle back and forth all, all the way. Uh, San Francisco scored on the last second touchdown from Chris Bird. Uh, Chris Bird, unbelievable performance. Christian Towns on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of sacks in this game. Minnesota, Green Bay, division matchup. Big time rivalry game. This was unbelievable. Went down to the wire. Minnesota ends up on top 36-35. Washington and Seattle. Washington had complete control of this game. Um, Seattle really couldn't do anything. Uh, Washington wins 20-3. Jacksonville and Pittsburgh. Jacksonville, uh, while this was close early on, Jacksonville was able to pull away, 
Kendrick Whitewater with a couple big plays to separate themselves. Carolina and Chicago. Surprising nip and tuck ball game. Chicago is one in five right now. I expected Carolina to really uh, have control of this game, but Chicago was up for a majority of this game and Carolina came back, tied it, uh, went to overtime. Carolina ended up winning. Baltimore, Indianapolis. This isn't technically a rivalry, but it's the Colts don't like the Ravens because, you know, the, well, no, the Ravens don't like the Colts. And I think it's vice versa, too. You know, Baltimore Colts, uh, you know, they left and all that. But the Ravens had full control of this game. Run game was dominant. Uh, Keenan Days made some big-time plays. Rayvon Lewis, wide receiver, made some big-time plays. And Baltimore ended up winning. Atlanta, New York. Remember when I was talking about terrible games? This was a terrible game because Atlanta just straight up whipped on these dudes. Uh, ran the ball through it, completely shut down the Giants offense. It was it was ugly, man. 38 zip. The Falcons, man. These dudes is undefeated right now. Very impressive. The Jets and the Chargers, man. Uh, uh, really a boring game. A good defensive game, but uh, it was very uneventful. Uh, the Chargers end up winning 17-7. Houston and Dallas, we already uh, seen this. This is up on the channel. Uh, Traymon Shady, uh, this was really the Jake Charles game, but Traymon Shady did make some good throws in this game, and Houston ended up winning 21-18 over Dallas. New England and Cincinnati, man. Uh, man. Man. The Bengals, man. I think they try and get that number one pick, and I wouldn't blame them. Uh... Man, they, they need a lot, man. 27-10 to the Patriots. The Patriots are not a good football team as of right now, early in the season. But, man, Bengals, man, very, very, very ugly game for them. Tennessee and Cleveland. Uh, nip and tuck ball game back and forth all the way. Um, Tennessee should have uh, had more control over this game. But uh, Cleveland... One win on the season, not a very impressive team, uh, but Tennessee ended up winning 24-20. And Detroit and Buffalo, another terrible game. Detroit absolutely blew these dudes out the water. It's the reason why they undefeated. It's the reason why Buffalo's not a very good football team. Uh, Detroit, man, these dudes are dominant, and hey, this might be the year they finally win a Super Bowl. We'll see. So right now, we are gonna take a look at some of the stats, some of the stat leaders in the NFL. Uh, right now, Al Francis, this is very surprising. Nobody really expected this coming into the year, but 18 touchdowns, three picks, leading the NFL in passing, man. That's very impressive. Uh, Traymon Shady, while he's second in the league in passing, he has 13 touchdowns, 12 picks. Uh, made some big-time throws throughout this uh, season, but, I mean, got to cut down on the interceptions, my guy. Eric Nelson, uh... 13 touchdowns, 15 picks, um, 2,000 yards passing, third in the league in passing. Uh, not very good. Uh, a lot of interceptions thrown. Scott Robinson, a lot of interceptions thrown, but, you know, he's making some plays. Uh, 16 touchdowns, 10 picks. Uh, let's see if he can cut down on the picks and, you know, keep on throwing them TDs. Sean Amory, uh, probably uh, top three, top five quarterback, in my opinion. Um Unbelievable arm, extremely uh, fast, quick athlete, you know, physical freak. Uh, 17 touchdowns, 8 picks, got 2,000 yards passing. Rodney Mosley, a uh, very good runner, very good runner, very good runner, underrated runner. Uh, 1,900 yards passing, 15 touchdowns, 8 picks. Uh, Willie Webb, uh, 13 touchdowns, 7 picks, 1,900 yards passing. Randall Madison, 12 touchdowns, 6 picks, 1,900 yards passing. Kendrick Whitewater, uh Top five quarterback in my eyes, um, 1,900 yards passing, 16 touchdowns, two picks. Uh, Chris Stevens, 16 touchdowns, five picks. You know, here's some of the other guys uh, that's putting up numbers. Uh, not as impressive as the top 10. Keenan Days, you know, they don't ask him to throw that much in that offense, which is why, yeah, 114 passing attempts, 1,400 yards, but nine touchdowns, three picks. Big time athlete, though. Right now, the rushing leaders, uh, Brian Hudson leading leading in rushing right now, uh, 5.8 yards per carry, 959 rushing, 11 touchdowns, 
Bryce Vitry, man, this is crazy. 902 yards, 11.1 yards per carry. Every time this man touched the ball, it's a first down. You know, that is that has to do a lot with the big plays because he's such an explosive athlete. But, I mean, that's crazy. Every time he touched the ball, it's a first down. Six touchdowns. Sean Amory is third in the league. Bro, that's crazy. As a quarterback, he's third. 675, 9.3, six touchdowns. Uh, Desi Henley, 671, five yards per carry, five touchdowns. Chris Spencer, 625, 5.3 yards per carry, seven touchdowns. Keenan Day, 606 yards. Man, that's crazy for a quarterback. 5.8 yards per carry, eight touchdowns. Uh, Jake Charles, uh, I love his game. Uh, 557 yards, 5.3 yards per carry, nine touchdowns. Vince Sampson, 541, five yards per carry, three touchdowns. Zach Bryant, 535, 5 yards per carry, 7 touchdowns. Gary Williams, 498, 4.5 yards per carry, 8 touchdowns. Here's some of the other dudes. You know, these dudes is putting up numbers so far. It's a lot of good backs in the league. I really like seeing these guys run the ball. Now, right here, the receiving leaders. Then I know Chris Bird, great player, uh, generational talent, all that. But it's unbelievable. This dude is leading the league in receiving as a tight end. He got 1,000 yards already. 11, two, basically 1,200 yards, man. This dude, man, this dude is unbelievable. 20 yards per catch, 12 touchdowns. Hey, he might just be the MVP of the league this year. Just watch out on that. Uh, Tyler Alexander, 9-17, 17.3 yards per catch, 5 touchdowns. Chris Ferguson, you know, he got a big-arm quarterback. And, you know, he's a burner, so... It's not surprising that he has 885 receiving yards. What is surprising is 25 yards per catch. That's not that's not normal. Three touchdowns, man. Bro, that's not normal. Zach Carroll, 811 yards, 17.6 yards per catch, eight touchdowns. Rayvon Lewis, 646, 21.5 yards per catch, seven touchdowns. Jonathan Garner, 631, 14.6 yards per catch, four touchdowns. Rico Robinson, man, 631. Uh, 15 yards per catch, six touchdowns. Bryce Vitry as a running back, man, 6'11". Bryce Vitry might win the MVP too, man. This dude putting up crazy numbers. 23.4 yards per catch as a running back. That's insane, bro. I don't think y'all understand how wild that is. Because he's getting the ball like on dump offs and all that, bro. This dude just too explosive, bro. Marcus Anderson, 5'80". 15.2 yards per catch, three touchdowns. William Johnson, 578. 18 yards per catch, three touchdowns. Some of the other guys put up numbers, TJ Hunter, Xavier Clement, Marlon Restu. I love Marlon Restu's game. Uh, it's a lot of dudes just putting up numbers, a lot of good receivers in the league. And the two dudes leading the league in sacks right now, Mark Robinson and Christian Towns. Christian Towns, to me, is the best edge rusher in the league. Christian Towns is unbelievable. 21 tackles for up. Man, dude putting up crazy numbers. Ryan Parrish, 8.5, eight, eight and a half sacks. Uh, Marcus Mitchell, eight and a half sacks. James Alexander, six and a half sacks. Man, these dudes is putting up numbers. A lot of dudes, man, a lot of dudes is getting sacks this year. Man. LaRue Davis, so far, he's still leading the leagues in, in picks. Ethan Brandt, three picks. Joel Christensen, three picks. Allen Mitchell, three picks. All these dudes got three picks right here. You know, some dudes got two picks, man. Dudes putting up numbers so far. If you want to be included as a character in the Reason Sports Network universe, then this is the video for you. In the Reason Sports Network, we make content for high school football, college football, and the NFL. You can be a character in our series and see yourself evolve from high school to college to the pros. If you want to be a part of this, then fill out the form that's in the description. When you fill out the form, make sure to choose only one level of football. Choose either high school, college, or the NFL. If you choose multiple levels of football, then I will select the smaller level. For instance, if you choose a high school and a college team, then you will start your career in high school. If you choose a college and an NFL team, then you will start your career in college. If you start your career in the NFL, then you'll start off as an undrafted free agent. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for filling out the form and wanting to be part of the Reason Sports Network and enjoy the content.